Hey everyone, welcome to the uh, CCIP tutorial here. Um, so let's, uh, let's keep this short and get started. So um, the weapons I'm using are dumb bombs. This is what you use in CCIP or continuously computed impact point mode. Okay, these are the Mark 82s. All right. Um, so the fence-in procedure here is, uh, of course, master arm on. Okay, then air to ground mode. You'll see that air to ground mode uh, defaults to CCRP. Okay, when you have uh, bombs. Um, you can see it left is my ground FCR, with the GM FCR. On the right side here, we have our SMS page, okay? So um, I want to switch first to CCIP mode. So the way I, there's two ways I can do that. First way, uh, kind of the clunky way here, is uh, go to CCRP mode here and change that to CCIP. Okay, you can see on the HUD, CCIP mode, and you have some different symbology that I'll go over here in a second. Okay, the second way is to use your nose wheel steering. And you just click that once and you can cycle through the three modes here, three main modes. So CCRP, IP, and dive toss mode, which I'll go over in another video. So we're on CCIP mode here, and now we're just going to set up our bomb. So uh, this probably by now might look a little familiar to you. Um, we have our bomb type here at the top. We have our profile number, which uh, I don't really mess with, <clears throat> so I won't go over that. Um, here we have one SGL. This means uh, when I uh, press the weapons release, uh, I'll launch or I'll drop one single bomb okay um, I'll skip over this for now this is the RP or ripple okay so uh, one single one single and I just am launching off one for every time I uh, depress the weapons release uh, button okay so I can change anything here by clicking on the corresponding OSB Okay, the button next to it. So if I want, say, to uh, go to pairs, so this, when I depress the uh, weapons uh, release button, I'll launch, or I'll drop two bombs, okay, with one. And there'll be no spacing on those. Okay, so I'll go back to single. Uh, now this ripple, I can click here, and let's say uh, I want to ripple off uh, two, okay? And then I can press enter up here. If I mess up, I can press recall and change it. Say I want three, but recall two. If I, do, if I don't want to change anything and go back to the main page, I'll hit recall to just, I don't have to, I can hit three, and I go return, and you can see that it's still ripple one, okay? So I'll change this to two, press enter, and you can see now I have two singles, ripple two, and now this is the spacing between those, so it'll, those two will impact 175 feet apart. So I can manipulate that to, uh, say, 250 feet. Enter. So now I'll ripple two off. Uh, it's important when you set ripples that uh, you do, and anytime you uh, depress the weapons release, that you press and hold until uh, everything's gone. Okay. So uh, I'll just. Uh, I don't want to ripple off two here, so I'll just ripple off one. Sorry about that little stutter. Have some problems with the uh, sun coming in. Um, okay, and then uh, I'll just talk about this. So this in the center is your arming delay, and it's set to six seconds. Okay, if you want to change that, you go to Control, and you can see here C1 is highlighted, and arming delay two is highlighted. Now, whatever's highlighted in this control page is the only thing you can manipulate. Okay, so I can't manipulate 81. I can't manipulate any of these other uh, settings. Okay, there's only one setting for this, and it's arming delay two. So no matter what I do to this first arming delay of four seconds, uh, nothing's gonna happen, and I'll, I'll show you that. So remember that's four seconds. I'll just set it to two seconds. Okay, press enter. It'll go down to the arming delay two, the one that matters here, and I'll set that for one second. Okay, I press enter. Uh, 
go back to my control page just to show you. Oh, and it did change my, my arming delay one. But uh, it, the arming delay one isn't going to come into effect here. Okay, so you just have arming delay here in one second. Okay, so uh, now again, uh, CCIP is a purely visual mode. Okay, you actually select the point on the ground that you want to hit uh, with the HUD. And now uh, finding your target. Okay, so there's a couple ways. Uh, I'm at, you can see I'm at 20,000 feet here. So I'm at steer point 7, which is my target steer point. <coughs> I am on CCIP mode. Okay, what I can do is uh, turn my helmet mounted queuing system on. Again, that uh, turns on and off right here. And then DMS down long switches uh, it on and off. And now I know, uh, just because I'm familiar with this area, that my target's in this area. However, if I did not know that, what I could do is uh, switch to back to nav mode. And I look down here and I see the steer point diamond okay so that's going to show uh, where I'm at relative or where the targets at and then I can scroll use my mouse wheel scroll in and out I do have a zoom set on my joystick here okay so to I, I have a shortcut uh, on my keyboard it's f6 for me to switch between air to ground mode and nav mode okay so I can do that fairly uh, quickly here without uh, interacting with the cockpit okay so there's my target uh, if you notice my relative position to the target I have about 45 degrees off my nose okay so this this allows me to keep it to uh, visual as I fly along I'll, uh, unpause it here and just show you so um, or thing about the altitude here uh, due to ground fire I generally don't want to go below uh, 5,000 feet okay so you can set that on your MSL allow mode that I went over on the DD page so I'm getting closer here about to roll in okay so I'll roll into the target reduce power <clears throat> the CCIP mode now and uh, go ahead and pause here so uh, now just the HUD here so you see that uh, you have this line coming off of your flight path marker okay and at the bottom you have a pipper uh, okay so this is where your uh, um, when you depress the weapons release button, this is where the uh, computer in your aircraft is going to compute the uh, impact point, okay? And um, so right now I'm just going to uh, press and hold the weapons release, and you're going to see some change in symbology here. Okay, so when you press and hold, you still have your pipper, or the... Uh, uh, target selector here uh, on the point that it was on so I released that you can see that uh, changes a little bit but uh, these are dumb bombs anyway and then uh, what you get on your HUD here is uh, the old familiar uh, what I what I call the bomb fall line actually called the asthma steering line um, they, that you're gonna have to fly okay you're gonna have to make sure that your flight path marker is on that uh, bomb fall line. You're going to fly it until the bombs release. So uh, I'll just uh, continue. There we go. Snake eyes. So the call is snake eyes for this. But uh, that's essentially it. Okay, so um, uh, I've gone over the fence in, um, finding your target using the steer point. Okay, and then. Um, yeah, interacting with this SMS page. So that's essentially it for uh, CCIP bombing. Uh, I will have one one more video to CCIP if you want to watch, where uh, I'll just uh, show you a basic bombing run uh, without pausing or anything. So uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.